Woody Wears here and today we're going to be looking at the ALD New Balance 993s. Now, it's been a minute since I've done a video and obviously this is a very late video of this release. These released uh, late last year. I entered in for both colorways. Uh, when it comes to New Balance, I've had running shoes by New Balance. I know that New Balance is becoming very popular and I think um, ALD has had a uh, positive um, impact of getting the popularity of New Balance uh, back out there. But when I saw these, I don't know whether it was because I saw the um, oil, olive oil slurping Action Bronson wearing these in the promo uh, pictures or whether it was just the colorways and the materials that appealed to me, but there was something that really drew me to these. And I entered in for the cream colorway and the brown colorway. Managed to hit with the uh, beef and broccoli, which is the brown colorway, and was very happy about that. Now, the only thing I would say is the fact that these ended up taking from purchase or from uh, finding out I'd won the raffle to delivering to my door it took 50 days. Now in that period of time I wasn't stressed for some reason, I wasn't trying to chase it. Uh, I did drop a few emails near the end and then what they actually responded with was uh, they gave me uh, a, a refund for my uh, the actual delivery cost and then a hundred dollar voucher and then also said about inch, uh, early access or a uh, better chance of entering into their next collection which is amazing so the customer service straight away is fantastic now if you haven't um, heard of Amy Leandor I'm probably pronouncing that wrong so that's why I like to say ALD I'm gonna leave a link in the description of um, for education they talk about uh, they have a little video talking about the history which is always good it's going to explain it a lot better than I will I'm just talking about the shoes that I've purchased and what I would say is from this experience great customer care obviously they had ship from shipment problems uh, and that's why there was delays but the fact that they uh, gave me a hundred dollar voucher was amazing and I managed to pick up a hat which I was really wanting to get previously I actually wanted the green but that had sold out but the navy was pretty cool uh, materials are nice but what I would have to say is the alignment of the uh, the N and Y is a little bit off for me which is a little bit annoying but anyway time to the shoes now these were delivered with DHL so a nice big box you got a little bit of bubble wrap in there and then the shoes themselves a really beautiful forest green on this New Balance and ALD box it's got a mix of branding on it nice it's even like got that nice raised text on it classic uh, traditionals on the, the label I got this in a 9.5 and I'm really glad I did I actually wasn't too sure on my uh, New Balance size a lot of people say go true to size but I was played the safe bet and went a half size up lift off lid and then you are hit with the shoe <music> Now, straight away picking this up, I was like, these really nice and light. You can feel that it's nice materials. And obviously, as it should be, because this is um, a made in USA product, and also it comes at a premium cost anyway with New Balance. So these in total with the delivery, it was 120 pounds. When they refunded me the uh, delivery cost of £15, it meant that these cost £205, which is still a pricey retail cost, but really beautiful shoe. So the reasons I like this were probably 
this kind of silhouette, the, the 993s and the 992s and stuff like that, I prefer the shape of it. Maybe I think of it as a more of a mature, sort of a smarter looking shoe for some reason. No idea why. And obviously I know that the 550s have been the more popular um, ALD releases, but as much as I like them, I much prefer a shape like this. Now, comes with your stock black laces. I didn't realize that you also get a brown set of laces, but I did know you got this sort of multi-tonal green and brown lace, which is definitely my favorite out of the three. Uh, then it'd be second would be the brown, and then last would be the black. I know obviously the black goes well with the midsole, but I just find it a bit harsh. Quality control wise, there is a few glue marks around the sole, uh, and there was a little sort of tear rip in the mesh on the toe box on the right shoe. But apart from that, it wasn't too bad, but you would like to think that obviously with a 200 pound shoe that it would be spotless, but when it comes to production and you're making lots of shoes, it's gonna happen. Very subtle with the Amy Leanne Leon door um, branding. So you've got it on the insole, you've got a very thin insole, nice little padding to it, but still quite thin. And it is a actual patch stitched in, so it shouldn't wear away when you're walking and then you have it on the hill. Again, the alignment on it, I don't know if it was on the left or right, it just seemed a bit off, so on the left shoe, it was a little bit slanted. Stuff like that, obviously when you're wearing them, you're not gonna notice, but if you're looking in detail, you spot these sort of things. What I would say is, it's definitely a nice light shoe, but I also think of it as a delicate shoe. So I think that this really soft, and it's a really lovely, nice felt, cottony material uh, for the sock liner. I do think I'm gonna probably wear a hole in the heel really quickly, because that's what I always tend to do. It must be the fact that I've got a bloody strong um, bones at the back of my foot that just wear its way through. But yeah, that I feel like this is actually a downside, because when I get a shoe and I end up wearing it, I wear it loads, so. It's a bit annoying to be delicate with a shoe and I will definitely have to put some sort of protection on this. But when it comes to the suede, really nice feeling. It has that nice sort of movement to it. Nice, soft, supple feel. You've got that mesh, which is nice as well. All of it is built so that you're gonna have a really good walking experience. I love the fact that you have this dark forest green hits, especially on the tongue and you even have a 3M sort of hit on the New Balance logo, and then you also a little bit on the back heel tab and a touch on the, the toe box. As I said, my favorite laces are going to be the mixed laces. I've done a little video um, with this sort of fake grass setup. I would have quite liked to have done outdoor shots of these, but the weather hasn't been that great when I've actually had time to film. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think these are a fantastic little pickup. I love the little New Balance hits on it. I love the contrast of the black sole. I love the fact that it's got this really nice brown. And even though originally I wanted the cream color uh, because I thought that looked like the Thunderstorm um, Blue Dunks and I love that shoe, but it just it's not as practical as this because this will sort of hide sort of the dust and the grime a lot better. And I actually feel like it's quite easy to put fits together with this, especially when you have the green hits and the black on it. It just goes with, it just pairs with a lot. Obviously my favorite choice would be a nice green cargo with these. Uh, obviously baggy, casual, comfy. Now, I'm gonna to go to the on feet. Let me know what you thought of this release. It's actually not that expensive on the resale market, um, which I think is sometimes a good thing for me personally when there's not that much popularity to it. I think it's like a slept on shoe and I think it makes it more of a gem in my eyes and I love the fact that people sort of overlook certain releases. But yeah, let's go to the on feet. Tell me what you think of these and tell me what you think of the new layout. I finally upgraded, got a mic. Um, I've also done a sister uh, YouTube channel to this where I'm gonna start looking into UA and replicas, but the differences will be that that light will be red when I'm looking at the reps and obviously it'll be a nice soft color uh, when I'm looking at retail pairs. Yeah, that's it from me.
Let's go to the on feet. It's Woodsy out.